Good evening. I uh, want to do another real quick uh, follow-up. Uh, because I was chatting with my dad and he uh, pointed out uh, that I'd never really tested to see what uh, 0 to 5 volts would look like. So with that in mind, yeah, that's a, a great suggestion. I tested plus and minus uh, 8 volts or 9 volts and we saw that DC offset, but we never had a look and see what uh, uh, the normal operating is, or at least I can't remember if we did. So anyway, what I have here is I have 50 megahertz uh, signal coming in from my uh, 8657B uh, and then that's going into here and then it's going to be split uh, on one channel, it's going to be sent one channel over to uh, my power meter here and this is uh, my E9300A uh, and on the other channel it's going to go to, our, to the oscilloscope uh, so that we can see when that uh, DC offset comes in and then these two are the control lines that are just going up to my uh, Rigol uh, DP832A uh, power supply. Uh, I'm having a eggnog because uh, it's Thanksgiving here and uh, that's when eggnog starts appearing in the stores. Anyway, let's uh, push these guys out of the road here for a moment. Oh, can't really get them out of the road very well. We'll try again. And what we'll... Uh, you can see here is set up. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the there's the uh, IC is on the in this little test jig which I bought from Mini Circuits, and we've got uh, the control lines on this side and then two outputs on this side. Though it's actually turned the uh, other way around uh, normally when it's being used um, in uh, the E4406. So what we want to do now is actually uh, turn on the first power. So I have this set to uh, uh, 5 volts, so let's turn on and I'm trying to get in uh, behind it, let's turn on channel 1 and let's turn on the RF power and uh, we'll see no uh, power there because I have to switch actually over to channel 2 and if I switch over to channel 2, at uh, uh, the two control lines, 0 volts and minus 5 volts, I see minus 1.3 dBm. Insertion loss here, length of cables, uh, uh, and that. So I'm sort of okay with, with that loss. If I uh, turn that off and turn on the other channel, you'll see that it uh, uh, drops completely from here. Uh, and that's now being fed out this other port here across to my uh, oscilloscope and on the oscilloscope I'm seeing uh, 50 megahertz. So you know, I'm sort of seeing what I would expect. So let's turn that off, let's turn that back on again and you'll see 1.3 volts here. And if I turn channel one on, if I, sorry, I need to, to swap that around. So now if I turn channel one on, You'll see that we still say the same here, uh, and we haven't seen any change. But if we were to look on the oscilloscope, okay, so if we look at the oscilloscope though, what you'll notice is we're nice and flat here. But if I turn that positive voltage on, you'll see we get that little bit of DC offset. And so, when we come back uh, and look at, let me change that around. Now I'm feeding a negative voltage in there. You'll see we've got uh, this guy here. And if I swap the other connector around and now jump it up, you'll see that we're getting that DC offset. So I think if we come back to the power supply, to the power meter, and we change that voltage around again. You know, and now I turn that back on. You'll see that oh, to go into positive. Sorry, let me go turn the positive on. You see that it doesn't actually impact the power again, and so I can actually set. 9 volts uh, for both positive and negative 
And you'll see the power reading stays about the same because that DC has been thrown away. So I almost guarantee that the problem that I'm seeing now in this uh, system is that that DC is flowing through, uh, flowing through the attenuator and then into the uh, mixer and that's causing the mixer bias to, uh, uh, to change. So it looks like I'm either going to have to try, I'm going to have to try and modify the power outputs on the control lines to ensure that they only get ground to uh, minus five volts. Anyway, I think this is uh, a pretty good step in the next direction. So now I have to think about how I'm going to do that modification and then we'll uh, make it and see how it worked out. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. If you liked it, give it the thumbs up and I'll uh, catch you again later.